this gate, the, fr the front gate where he lived, and um, I just uh, started bawling my eyes out. I just paid my respects, and then I came home and I thought, well, I'll write this in dedication, if you don't mind. David, David though, has, been such a has had such a powerful impact on me for my entire adult life. To me, his death feels like a very personal loss. Though he has been my major inspiration for 40 years, not only musically, but also as a uniquely creative being. And it's an honour for me to be doing whatever I can to keep his incomparable musical legacy alive. On hearing the unexpected news of Bowie's death in January this year, at first I found it difficult to believe and even more difficult to accept. It wasn't until Bowie's son Duncan confirmed his famous father had died that the sad reality became very real. I wandered aimlessly up the road to where David had lived in Sydney. Bowie was my next door neighbour for a number of years during the late 80s and early 90s in the Silver sort of Bay where I still live. I stood outside the front gates of King Koppel, his former apartment block, paying my respects. The one question that kept spinning around in my mind was, why had God allowed this to happen? Surely he must have known that Bowie had so much more to give, and we had so much more to learn from him. To me, David had always seemed immortal, a messiah. He was otherworldly, the man who fell to earth. And like his famous alter ego, Ziggy Stardust, he was a visionary from a distant star visiting earth, to spread his message to the many Bowie, to his many Bowie disciples. David Bowie was the one person who could sweep us away with his futuristic vision and lead us into his magical world, a world where our imaginations were fueled by his music and encouraged to roam free and interpret as we wish. If it's possible to love our heroes, then I truly love David Bowie.